Hello and welcome to what would be, I guess, part three of my Gentoo videos. In this one, I'm going to cover uh, updates, installing and uninstalling packages, and doing security checks on your system. If you haven't seen my part one and part two videos on the entire installation from the beginning, getting to the desktop here, go ahead and uh, check the description. I put the two links in there. They're pretty long, but I'm walking you through and explaining as I go along. So grab yourself a drink and a snack and uh, have a good watch. But anyways, here's where we left off. This is the KDE Plasma desktop. There's really nothing installed. This is a very basic install of the KDE Plasma meta package. You'll notice there's a couple of things like XFC terminal and Thunar is in here as well. That's because I also installed XFCE, but I'm not going to get into that part. Basically, what we ended up with was a desktop without even the console or Dolphin file browser, nothing. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do before doing anything is do a sudo emerge sync and sync the portage tree. If you're root, you don't have to do sudo, obviously. And we'll just let that run. It'll take about a minute. All right, so that's done. And this is basically the equivalent, if you're thinking other distros of say apt update, you're just synchronizing. You're not actually updating anything yet. The first thing I want to show you is GLSA check. This is Gentoo Linux security advisories. And then here you can do GLSA check, test all, and it's going to test all the GLSAs to see if your system is affected by any of them. And then it'll tell you what needs to be fixed. If it does list anything, you can change this to F all. And then of course you need to be sudo. And you can see it's going to go through all of them and say no vulnerable packages installed. If there were any, it will try to update those packages automatically. So that's probably something you want to just check regularly if you're only really concerned about security patches. But with Gentoo, I wouldn't recommend your system getting too out of date because you could run into a lot of issues with dependencies and package versions and whatnot if it gets too bloated. So let's go ahead and install some things. Uh, first of all, we need a file manager. I do have Thunar, but I'm going to use Dolphin. So we're going to do emerge ask Dolphin. You don't have to do ask. As I mentioned before, if you don't put ask, it'll just go ahead and do it. So now you see here in the last video, I mentioned how if there's more than one name, you have to use the entire path. So here there's two dolphins. There's the game emulator dolphin, and then there's the file manager dolphin. So here we're gonna just add here KDE apps. So put the group and the package in there and it'll go ahead and install the one that we want. So it's gonna install these two. So go ahead and say yes, and we'll let that build and get back when it's done. Okay, so that took less than a minute. And now if we go to our applications, we should see dolphin. So there we go. Now we have our file manager. So now we can go ahead and look at installing a few more things. I'm going to do Kate mouse pad arc, just a few things here. You can do multiple packages at the same time. And yes, let's go ahead. Okay. That took about a minute and a half. So we should see here. Now we have arc, we have Kate, all the packages we installed. So now how do you uninstall them? Well, you think you just go sudo emerge, unmerge, Kate. And let's put in an ask because I don't want it to do it. And it's just going to ask, do you want to remove it? And you could say, yes, I'm going to say no. Well, there's a problem with that because I can say unmerge SDDM and it'll go ahead and try to unmerge it, but it's not checking for dependencies. It's just going to remove it regardless. So you have to be really careful when you're using unmerge. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and emerge Gen Toolkit. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to, but this gives you eQuery. And I used it in the last video so you can list different packages. What this can also do is you can do eQuery D SDDM, and it will list what packages depend on SDDM. Okay, so now we know how to check that. So how do we go ahead and remove packages properly? Let's say SDDM if I wanted to. You're going to do sudo emerge ask verbose depth clean sddm now what it's also doing here is it's showing you the plasma meta and sddm kcm depend on sddm so it's not going to want to remove them you'd have to remove those first so now how do you remove things well i'll get to that in a second but first i want to show you the world file and how to perform updates if you want to perform an update the first thing you're going to want to do is perform a sync once that's done you can update the world file like we did before where it would be 
ask verbose the long command we did in the last video but you can just do av capital d lowercase u capital n at world and this will update your entire system and rebuild whatever is necessary so what does the at world mean well, i can show you if we go into var lib portage there's a file here called world so let's go ahead and have a look in there and you can see it has packages that i've installed this will list packages you've installed now you can see here for example plasma meta that's the meta package that installed the whole kde desktop environment and if you go look on the gen 2 packages site you can actually see what other packages are included in that but anyways you can also see here there's mousepad arc dolphin kate these are the ones that i just installed so when you're updating your at world set, it's going to look to update all these, including any that are part of a meta package. So let's go ahead and do that. AVDUN at world. And it's going to go ahead and calculate our things. I wanted to show you this first before removing things because I wanted to show you that Arc, Dolphin, Kate, and Mousepad were now in the world file because I just added them. So here we have our list. Here, let me try to make this bigger. We have our long list showing you, 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 all these packages are going to be upgraded. And it's letting you know these packages are causing rebuilds, which are the ones that have the yellow R up here. So 50 package changes, 669 megs. So let's go ahead and get that done. And we'll be back after. Okay, so our system's all up to date now. It took about 20 minutes. And you can see here it's saying important, this config file needs updating. Go ahead and read the Emerge Man page or check the guide online. But what you need to do is run etc update. So here you have your options. You can auto merge all files, auto merge and don't use, discard all updates, discard all updates and not use. I'm just going to control C here and we're going to go look at where that is. So it says here etc conf d xdm. So etc conf d let's have a look so here's our xdm we're going to do al and you can see here there's this dot underscore config xdm this is the new configuration that it wants to replace xdm with so we can go ahead and have a look at that now what that message was basically saying is this is the configuration it wants to overwrite so it's going to put display manager back to xdm which we don't want so i'm going to exit out of that because if we have a look in here, if you remember from the last video, this is the actual XDM file that we're using and the display manager is set to SDDM. So we want to keep that. So let's exit out of here. Now you can give the option to not update or you can actually just remove the file. And there you go, it's gone. So now if I go to run this again, it's gonna say there's nothing to do because it's looking for those config files. And for good measure, since a lot of stuff got updated, I'm going to restart here. Now let's go on to removing some things. So I can check here, eQuery D mousepad, just to make sure nothing depends on mousepad, but I'm just making sure before I go ahead and remove it, I'm gonna go ahead and emerge ask depth clean mousepad. I'll show you another way to use depth clean, but this is something that will clean up dependencies. And you can see here it wants to remove mouse pad. So yes, it's gonna give you a five second countdown before you go ahead and do it. It gives you a chance to do control C and cancel. And now it's gone. So let's go ahead and run that again. Ask depth clean with nothing. Now the, and now these are gonna list unused dependencies and some of it might have to do with your last update that these are no longer needed. But you wanna check here and make sure that nothing important is going to be removed that you might need. So for instance, here I can see GCC is listed. However, here it's selecting this version and omitting this version. That's because on our update, GCC got updated to this version, but this version is still on the system. So it's going to go ahead and purge that. So let's say yes. Okay, so now that's done. Actually, if you see a message here, if you intend to use GCC from the new profile, you're basically gonna reload the profile with that and that's it, that's all you have to do. But you usually don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again and it should say there's nothing left to clear out. Number removed, good. Okay, so now we're good.
So another way we can go ahead and remove things are by doing sudo emerge ask deselect. And we're going to do Katie apps, dolphin, arc, and Kate. So let's do that. And you can see it's removing them from the world favorites file. That's the world file that I showed you. There was just a list of what you've installed. So would you like to remove them from your world favorites? Yes. Now they're not uninstalled yet because I could still run Kate if I wanted to or whatever application, they're still there. But now if I do a dep clean, it's listing Dolphin, Arc, Kate, and Baloo Widgets, which I did not ask it to do, but Baloo Widgets is a dependency that Dolphin uses. So it knows this and it's gonna get rid of that as well. So this is a nice way to clean up not only the packages that you want to remove, but also its dependencies in one shot. So now let's say for some reason, I mistakenly put Kate in that list. So Kate is still there, right? So I just said, no there, I'm not gonna unmerge those packages. So Kate is still there, but I deselected it. So it's not in the world list anymore. If I want to re-add it, I can just do sudo emerge ask select Kate. But here's the thing about select. You don't have to put it because that's like the default action. I just typed that in to show you, you can deselect and select, but if you don't put select, that's the default is to select. But now it's going to happen if I run this is it's going to want to reinstall Kate. So if I go no replace and hit enter, it's just going to say, do you want to add the packages to your world favorites? And you just hit enter for yes. So now Kate has been re-entered into that world file and it hasn't been reinstalled because it was never uninstalled. It's just like nothing happened. So running depth clean again, you can see it wants to remove arc dolphin blue widgets and Kate's no longer there. But now I can go ahead and say yes, or just hit enter. That's the default and it'll do the countdown last chance to escape and start removing them all. So in one shot, not only did I remove Dolphin, I also removed the Baloo widgets that Dolphin uses and it kept the system nice and clean. So now knowing this, you can see that the unmerge command will remove a package regardless, but be very careful when you're doing it. It's always best to just deselect it and run a depth clean and it'll just remove it and its dependencies. If you're removing something that is a dependency, you might want to remove the other packages that depend on it first because you're going to break the chain and then those packages aren't going to work and it's going to cause a lot of problems. Okay, so our full system update is pretty much the same thing that the GLSA check would have done, except it would have just picked the packages that need to be updated. Here we just went ahead and did a full blown replace everything, update everything. So you should have no issues now. You could do a GLSA check anytime, test all, and then you can see systems not affected by any of the listed GLSAs. This is something you can just check now and then if you're only going to want to do your upgrades every week or two or three weeks or something. I wouldn't go much longer than that. Maybe even monthly. I'm not sure. But you can run the emerge sync and then GLSA check test all and just make sure your system's good to go and safe. So another thing I want to show you is how to clean up your system. Let's just have a look at what we have for space here. So on my root, I'm using 13 gigs. And because of the way Gen 2 works, it downloads a lot of source code for everything and then compiles it and it stores a lot of this stuff. So over time, it's gonna start growing. And if you installed the Gen Toolkit package earlier, this will include eclean dist. Now eclean and eclean disk, you'll want to read the page on the Gen 2 site for it and read the man page because you can exclude things. There's a lot of things that you can do, but the gist of it here, we're gonna run deep pretend. And I'm pretty sure I have to be sudo for this. So do that. And here we go. It's listed all this source code that it can delete. And it tells you how much space it all takes. And then at the bottom here, it's gonna let you know that this will free up 543 megs. So let's go ahead and get rid of these archives here. Run this. And it's basically the same thing, except it's telling you 48 files were freed, 547 megs. I don't know if it'll show a difference there. Okay, now it's saying 12 gigs. So we saved so much space, but really, I remember I have a very, very lean system here. I only have Gen 2 and not a whole lot of applications. I removed some of the ones that I added. So there's not a whole lot here, but if you have Firefox, LibreOffice, and all this other stuff, this will start building up. And then running this command is going to clean it out for you. So lastly, before I go ahead and tell you to like the video and subscribe to my channel, which I just did, I'd like to go ahead and thank my newest slash bin 
supporter Eve over on Patreon. If you'd like to support my channel, head on over to patreon.com slash Dorian dot slash. Thank you so much, Eve, for your support. And thank you for everyone else who have supported me in the past, as well as thanking everyone who subscribes and leaves awesome comments and shares my video on social media. Thank you very much, everybody. And this may be my last Gentoo video for now. I'm sure there'll be more, but we'll see. So until next time, bash on. Mm -hmm.